हेलो एवरीवन सो एज वी वर डूइंग द चैप्टर नंबर टू ऑफ हिस्ट्री क्लास एथ एन सी ई आर टी फ्रॉम ट्रेड टू टेरिटरी सो लेट्स बिगिन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक द डॉक्टर ऑफ लैब्स ओके सो लेट मी गिव यू अ वेरी ब्रीफ डेफिनेशन ऑफ डॉक्टर ऑफ लैब्स इन दिस पॉलिसी दिस वॉज अ पॉलिसी डिवाइज बाई ब्रिटिशर्स ओके एंड इन दिस पॉलिसी वट वॉज इन दिस पॉलिसी If there is no male king after the death of any king, then kingdom would be of British. Okay. If there would be no male heir, for example, if I am the king, so I should have a. If I am the king, king, so I should have a male. So I should have a son, so that he could be the next king of that kingdom. That is how doctrine of laps works. so if i don't have a son i have only daughters or i have no a uh, child then i can't be the and i can't be the king the king of that kingdom okay who devised this policy lord dalhousie and he was the governor general of india from 1848 to 1856 remember the years 1848 to 1856 okay now let me tell you the list of states who were annexed by this policy first comes satara 1848 then sambalpur 1850 udaipur 1852 nagpur 1853 jhansi 1854 avadh 1856 okay and when avadh was annexed by the doctrine of laps there a rumor britishers just made a rumor that avadh was avadh was ruled by the bad nawabs the nawabs what was not ruling avadh well so that is why britishers just uh, showed themselves that there was the misgovernment of avadh and they need needed to be they need to annex the avadh so this rumor, but that was a just a false a very false rumor and this after annexing avadh it broke out to 1857 the first revolt of india so this was it in this topic i hope it is clear and if you out then comment down in the comment box and subscribe the channel and also hit the like button if you like okay and bye